welcome to the second season of CNBC TV 18 and Lufthansa's All for This One Moment. I'm Shireen Bhan. Over the course of this show, you actually get to see a side of an Indian leading business personality that you've never seen before. You get to understand what drives them, motivates them, inspires them and makes them who they are today. Before I bring out my guest for this evening, here's a quick glimpse into her success story. Who says all bankers are grim, serious people? Kalpana Morparia, CEO of JP Morgan India, loves Hindi movies, shopping, Italian food and the Cartoon Network. Kalpana Morparia joined the erstwhile ICICI in 1975 and was elevated to its Board of Directors in 2001. She retired from the Board of Directors of ICICI Bank Limited in 2007 as its Joint Managing Director to become the first ever CEO for JP Morgan India. Kalpana Morparia has been voted as one of Forbes' 100 most powerful women in business. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Kalpana Morparia. Let me start by asking, you know, we just heard or sort of saw your career which has spanned over three decades at ICICI and then ICICI Bank. What actually made you want to continue? You could have easily given up your sort of, you know, given up your boots and said, I'm going to take it easy now. Why the decision to actually start another career at this point in life? As I said, 58 is quite young, uh, Shireen. And I hate this explanation because huh. this is the one time when I have to disclose my age. Okay. But I still believe that 58 is too young to retire. Uh -huh. And a new career beckoned to me and I grabbed it. How did it all work out for you at JP Morgan? As in how, do, how did the conversation start and you know how long did it actually take you to make up your mind on you know after having spent over three decades building ICICI to actually move and pay allegiance to another organization? As you know I would continued as an advisor for ICICI and 15 months into playing an advisory role I guess I was missing the thrill of being an executive. Yeah. So this actually happened in a very short span of time. To be precise, just about a year ago, mm. the conversation started and I remember meeting Gabby abdul Noor, who is my boss in the region, uh, on 9th of August and on 1st of September I joined them. And you walked right into the biggest financial crisis since the Great Depression. So what perfect timing. <laughs> oh my God, absolutely. Because September changed the financial world upside down. Yeah. And as I said, 1st of September was my first day in office. Uh and the rest is history, you know, you know what happened in so September. So did you feel that after. you were ready to take on another challenge, one of the many challenges that you've had to face in your career or did you say what have I brought myself into? Not really because I could not have picked a better bank to work for hmm. given you've seen how well JP Morgan has withstood the crisis and I could not have picked a better country to be in. Hmm. All right, on that note, it's time for that moment that we've all been waiting for. It's time for us to bring out our unsung entrepreneur. But before I do that, here's a quick glimpse into the life. Rajan Sareen, the MD and CMO of Cresco Capital, established the firm after spending 14 years working with various companies in capital markets, mutual funds and insurance. Rajan says he was always inclined towards working in financial services, something which drove him into the trading halls of the Delhi Stock Exchange. Finally, in 2007, he took the big leap and started Cresco Wealth Management Services. The company was started for marketing and selling third-party products across mutual funds, insurance and fixed deposits. His firm now has a customer base of over 1,200 people and an AUM of over 70 crore rupees. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Rajan Sareen. Thank you very much for joining us. I'm going to give you my seat for right here. Fire away. Since you have worked in financial services, I would like to know what is the scope of financial services distribution business in India given the depression that the world has faced and how would India in particular be impacted with the much talk about global recovery? So if you look at the financial services sector in India, across every product, whether it's deposit, credit, insurance, mutual fund, equity ownership, debt ownership, it is one of the least penetrated. 
So if you look at credit to GDP ratio for India, it's barely 50-55%. If you look at consumer credit, it's even lower at 15%. Right. Uh, life insurance ownership, across the board, as I said, this is so. So I see actually a great future really for the distribution business. Certainly. And it goes way beyond just the metros. I know metros is where you get the largest pop urban population and therefore your target customer. But I remember when I was in ICICI, when we looked at tier 2 and tier 3 cities, they again offered a unique uh, uh, opportunity really to anyone in the financial services space. Okay, super investment banking opportunities. On that note, it's time for us to wrap up this episode. But before we go, it's uh, also our pleasure to invite uh, onto our set Deepak Biswas of Lufthansa to present a very special memento to both Kalpana as well as Rajan. Deepak. Ms. Murakaria. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to have you over here with us, all for this one moment. Lufthansa, we have made India home for now 50 years, so we would like to give you your own 3AD model. Oh, lovely. Thank with, you so much. With your name, Kristen Donnet. Oh, this is okay. going to have pride of place in my office. <laughs> Thank you. And Mr. Sareen, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, it's great to see. I hope you had a good session. Certainly we do. Yes. And uh, we would like to give you tickets in business class to Europe sure. via a two hubs, Frankfurt and Munich. Right. Yeah. Here, so here you go. Thank you. And happy journeys thanks. and I hope they're successful. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank, thank you very thank you. much. Thank, thank, thank you very much. Nice. Congratulations and thank you, Kalpana. Thank it's you, a pleasure. Shay. Thank you very much thank for joining you. us Bye -bye. on the show. With that, it's a wrap on this episode of All for This One Moment. But we'll see you again next week with another leading business personality. Suzanne Tumalpasya. Goodbye and many thanks for watching.